Suppose we are going to evaluate this multivariable limit. We have the limit as x squared approaching 0, 0 of 3x squared y over x squared plus y squared. If we plug in 0, 0 into the x and y, we get 0 over 0. But unfortunately, in this situation, we cannot use L'Hopital's rule. Because you can imagine, if you differentiate the top and differentiate the bottom, differentiating with respect to what variable? The x or the y or both? I don't think so. So unfortunately, L'Hopital's rule wouldn't work, even though you have 0 over 0 here, because we have a multivariable function. So what can we do? Here, whenever we have x, y approaching the origin, we can try to use the polar coordinate, which is, of course, the standard conversion x equals r times cosine theta and y equals r times sine theta. And this works wonderfully whenever x, y approaching the origin because in the polar world, the origin here is when r is equal to 0 and theta can be anything, yeah? If you have, let's say, angle pi over 2, yeah, you're looking up in that direction, but you don't go out anywhere, so you're still at the origin. So let's just go ahead, convert it. Instead of the limit of x, y approaching 0, 0, we can just say r approaching 0. And then right here, just plugging this into x and y accordingly. On the top, we have 3. x squared, we get r squared times cosine squared theta and then the y is r sine theta and then on the bottom x squared plus y squared happens to be r squared you can square this square that and then add them up x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared right because you can find out r squared and sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one all right right here r square and r square cancel out very nicely, so we have the limit as r going to 0, and we have 3, and let me put down this r right here, and then cosine square theta sine theta. This is very nice because when r is approaching 0, if you plug in here, we pretty much have 3 times 0, and then this is pretty nice expression. Here, we have to do it slightly carefully. We have to discuss the maximum value of cosine squared theta. We know cosine, the maximum value for that is 1. When you square that, the maximum is still equal to 1. The absolute value of cosine squared theta is 1. And then the absolute value of sine theta, of course, the maximum value for that is also equal to 1. So, we pretty much have 3 times 0 times 1 and 1, like the biggest possible case. So you can use the squeeze theorem to write it out carefully, but I think it's pretty clear. We get 3 times 0 times 1 and 1, right? at most you get 0. Yeah, just like that. So the answer is 0. Done. Very nice, huh? But we do have to be careful because if we have the theta somewhere else, be really careful. Because let's say I change the x to the second to x to the fourth, and let's do the same question again with polar coordinate. So this is the limit as r going to zero, and then for the top, we still have three r squared cosine squared theta, and then r sine theta. But on the bottom now, x to the fourth power, I really have to put it down and work it out, right? It's r to the fourth power times cosine to the fourth power theta. And then right here, I will have to add this squared, which is r squared times sine squared theta. And then let's do some algebra. On the bottom, we can factor out the r squared. Quite nice, huh? So this is still going to give us r squared, and then here is cosine um, still force power theta and then r squared is out already sine square here yeah and we can still cancel out the r square and r square now check this out here we have a limit as r going to zero on the top we have this three 
and then this r let me just put it down here and then we have cosine square theta and then sine theta on the bottom we have r squared times cosine to the fourth power theta and then plus sine square theta now if we put zero into the r's on the top just like what we talked about earlier if we just have that expression yes we will get zero but on the bottom if we put zero in here this is zero i agree with that and we will end up with this right here though. so it's zero plus sine square theta yeah so what we are really getting is zero over sine square theta right can we draw any conclusion in this regard no be super careful because remember once we are at the origin r is zero right here we are saying r is approaching zero great but we are also saying that theta can be anything is there any angle that can make sine square theta equal to zero yes if theta happens to be zero or pi or two pi you get zero on the bottom and then you get zero over zero which is bad so i'll just say bad if theta equal to zero so we have to be careful we actually cannot draw any conclusion right here so what do we do whenever we are stuck we better just go with the usual approach we'll try to show that this thing right here does not exist so i'm just going to consider different path to zero zero so let me just put this down right here here is zero zero let's just go with let's say y is equal to zero so along y is equal to zero like this so i'll just put this down along the path y equal to zero in that case i can just plug in zero into all the y's right away and then we will focus on the limit as x approaching zero you put zero into the y so we get 3x squared times zero over x to the fourth power plus zero squared but on the top right here zero already divided by x to the fourth power so this expression gives you zero right away so this is the limit as x approaching zero of zero so along this path the answer for it is zero but now let's think about if there's another path that we can get to zero but the result of that is not equal to zero if we can do that then we can show that doesn't exist here's the trick here we have x to the fourth power right try to somehow match the power i don't want y equals x though because that will still give me x squared right here right why don't we try along the parabola y is equal to x squared so it's going to be like this yeah now check this out i am going to have the limit as x approaching zero and then we're just plugging x squared into the y here and y here so it gets 3x squared times x squared and then x to the fourth power plus x squared and then square right now let's do some algebra here this gives us the limit as x approaching zero on the top is 3x to the fourth power on the bottom this is x to the fourth power combined with x to the fourth power we get 2x to the fourth power in this situation we cancel x to the fourth power first and then take the limit as x approaching zero but there's no more x so the answer for this right here is equal to 3 over 2 but as you can see of course this is not the same as that 0 is not the same as 3 over 2 therefore we can conclude that the limit as x uh, y approaching 0 0 of 3x squared y x to the fourth power plus y squared doesn't exist i'll just spell it out does not exist yes